Hey gang, this is Deke McClelland. Welcome to Deke's Techniques. This week, we're going to take a look at the new join tool in Illustrator CC. So you're going to have to have the most recent version of the software, or you can just hang out with us and wonder in amazement as we take this haphazard collection of paths that I drew using the line segment tool, and you can see how they just kind of overlap or they don't even overlap. And with just a few drags, we're going to go ahead and join them together into this perfectly united white arrow tool. Here, let me show you exactly how it works. All right, here's where we'll begin and here's where we'll end, just so you have a chance to see everything on screen. I'm going to switch over to this collection of lines, all of which are open path outlines, by the way, that I drew using the standard line segment tool. Now I'll select all of them by pressing Control A or Command A on the Mac, and then I'll click and hold on the pencil tool midway down the toolbox here, and I'll choose the join tool from the bottom of the flyout menu. Again, I stress that this tool is only available inside of Illustrator CC. Now I'm just going to paint over these overlapping segments like so, and Illustrator gets rid of them quite remarkably and fuses the two open paths together. Now, not only does this work when you have overlapping segments, such as the ones we saw a moment ago, it also works that the points are in close proximity. So, for example, if I paint over this area right here, then Illustrator goes ahead and extends that one path so that we have a nice sharp corner. All right, now I'm going to press Control A or Command A on the Mac in order to once again select my paths, and I'll just go ahead and drag over the top of these. Or, by the way, I'll press Control Z or Command Z on the Mac to undo that. I could also paint over this portion of the path. Just as long as I'm near the corner, I should be fine. Now, I don't want this stem to actually be joined to this arrowhead, and so what I need to do is select the arrowhead and deselect the stem. And the easiest way to do that is to go up to the Select menu and choose the Inverse command, which will reverse the selection as we're seeing here. And then I'll just go ahead and drag over those last overlapping segments. All right, now let's build the stem by pressing the V key in order to switch back to the black arrow. And I'll click on this stem in order to select it, and then I'll go up to the line rate value and change it to 60 points like so. Now I want to convert this stroke to a closed path outline by going up to the object menu, choosing path, and then choosing outline stroke, which gives me an angled rectangle. All right, now I'll press Shift X in order to swap the fill in the stroke so we no longer have any fill and we do have a stroke as you can see here. And just so everything's consistent, I'll increase that line weight to four points. All right, now let's say we want to join these two path outlines together. Well, probably the best way to do that would be to drag over them using the Shape Builder tool. In which case, I'd have to press Control A or Command A on the Mac to select both those paths. And then I would drag over them like so. But I also want to show you how we can pull things off with a join tool. So I'm going to press Control Z or Command Z on the Mac in order to undo that change. And then I'll press the A key to switch to the white arrow tool. And what we're going to need to do is convert both of these paths to open path outlines because the join tool needs them to be open. And you can do that by clicking off the paths to deselect them and then clicking on this top segment right there in order to select it independently of the rest of the path. And now I'll press the backspace key or the delete key on the Mac to get rid of it. Now we need to open this path outline up, and I'll do that by selecting this anchor point right there, and then I'll go up to the control panel and click on the little scissors icon in order to cut the path at that location. And you can see now, if I click off the point and then drag one of them, that we do now have a couple of independent endpoints. Now I don't want them to be far apart from each other like that, so I'll go ahead and press Control Z or Command Z on the Mac in order to undo that change. And I'll press Control A or Command A on the Mac in order to select the arrow. And then I'll go ahead and grab my join tool and I'll go ahead and drag over this area in order to fuse those two paths together so we now have one big open path outline. At which point I don't have to have it selected anymore. I can just go ahead and drag over this region in order to turn the open path into a closed path outline. All right, now I'm going to press the V key to switch back to my black arrow. I'll go ahead and click on the white arrow to select it, and I'll increase the line weight to 10 points, let's say. And notice that we have a few extra anchor points. If that bothers you, just go ahead and press the P key to switch to the pen tool and click on those anchor points in order to delete them. And in my case, there's a total of three here that I don't need. We also have some control handles. So we could make the segments bend if we wanted to, but right now they're not causing any harm. So I'll just go ahead and press the V key to switch back to the black arrow tool, and I'll click off that big arrow to deselect it.
And that's how you connect a bunch of very basic open path outlines into a custom closed shape using the relatively new join tool here inside Illustrator CC. Now, if you're a member of lynda.com, then I have a follow-up movie in which I show you how to do pretty much what we just did, except instead of using lines, we will use very basic shapes such as stars and triangles and ellipses, and we will unite them and subtract them using a tool that's been around since Illustrator CS5, which is the Shape Builder. If you're waiting for next week, or at least interested, then I'm going to show you how to do a text wrap inside of Illustrator, a little known but powerful feature. And incidentally, if if you've been grooving on these Illustrator videos, then I want you to know that they are excerpted from my forthcoming Illustrator CC 2015 one-on-one, -on -one, which is all new. So do me a big favor and check it out. In the meantime, Deeks Techniques, each and every week, keep watching.